Inflow Inventory Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Inflow Inventory. Inflow Inventory is a platform that manages your inventory, orders, invoices, and reports for businesses across industries. It supports barcode scanning, multiple locations, and e-commerce platforms. It also handles purchasing, sales, customer order tracking, manufacturing, and shipping. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of Inflow Inventory and show you how to add your products to your inventory. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with a tutorial. To begin using Inflow Inventory, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate and click on the Try Inflow for Free button. Clicking on the button will redirect you to the registration page. On this page, provide your email address and click on the Continue button to proceed. You will then be prompted to enter your first name and mobile number and create a strong password. Once you have entered the required information, click on the Sign Up button to complete the registration process. Please note that it may take a moment to process your request. After successfully signing up, you will be directed to personalize your account. Follow the on-screen prompts to customize your account according to your preferences and requirements. Once you have personalized your account, you will be taken to another page. On this page, locate and click on the Start Your 14-Day Trial button. Clicking on this button will lead you to the dashboard where you can begin exploring the features and functionalities of Inflow to effectively manage your inventory and streamline your operations. The dashboard of Inflow is designed to be both visually attractive and efficiently organized. To navigate through the various features and functions, you can click on the three dashes located at the top left-hand corner of the screen. This will open up the left panel, which contains several tabs for easy access to different sections of the application. One of the essential tabs available in the left panel is the home page. Here you will find a convenient overview of your purchasing, inventory, and sales activities. This centralized view allows you to keep track of key metrics and performance indicators. Additionally, the home page tab provides access to various reports, enabling you to gain valuable insights into your business's overall performance. Another important tab in the left panel is Sales. This tab provides you with a range of options related to sales activities. You can view new sales quotes, create new sales orders, manage the sales order list, add new customers, and review your existing customer list. This section streamlines your sales processes and helps you stay on top of customer-related tasks. Similarly, the Purchasing tab is another valuable section within the dashboard. Here, you can gain access to a variety of purchasing-related functions. Here, you can generate new purchase quotes, create purchase orders, manage the purchase order list, add new vendors, and review your existing vendor list. This section simplifies your procurement procedures and ensures a smooth purchasing workflow. The Inventory tab allows you to manage your inventory-related tasks efficiently. Within this tab, you can access various functions such as adding new products, viewing the product list, monitoring recorder stock levels, initiating stock transfers, reviewing the stock transfer list, and making stock adjustments. These features empower you to maintain accurate inventory records and ensure optimal stock management. The Reports tab provides valuable insights into your business's performance. By navigating to this tab, you can access a wide range of reports that offer comprehensive information on sales, stock levels, purchasing, recording and forecasting, payment and accounting, manufacturing, and audit logs. These reports enable you to monitor key metrics, identify trends, and make data-driven decisions to drive business growth. Within the Options tab, you have the opportunity to customize your account according to your specific needs and preferences. Clicking on this tab will redirect you to another page where you can edit and personalize various aspects of your account, including personal information, preferences, inventory settings, order configurations, integration options, and more. This level of customization allows you to tailor inflow to align with your unique business requirements. The Imports tab is designed to facilitate the smooth importation of spreadsheet data into Inflow. If you have data saved as a SCV, comma separated values file, this tab enables you to import it seamlessly into the system. This feature simplifies the process of migrating data from external sources and ensures that your inventory records are up to date and accurate. On the other hand, the Exports tab offers the ability to export different types of data from Inflow. Whether you need to export product details, stock levels, 
customer information, vendor data, bill of materials, or other relevant data. This tab provides you with the necessary functionality. Exporting data allows you to share information with external stakeholders, perform analysis in other software, or maintain backups of critical information. Now, let's see how to create products in inventory. When creating products in the inventory, there are two ways to proceed. The first method involves starting from the home page. Once you are on the home page, navigate to the inventory section and locate the new product option. Clicking on this option will allow you to begin the product creation process. Alternatively, you can access the left panel by clicking on the three dashes located at the top left corner of the screen. Within the left panel, locate the inventory tab and click on the new product option. This action will trigger a pop-up window where you can enter the name of the product in the designated product name field. Additionally, you will need to select the product type from the available options. Once you have filled in the necessary details, click on the Create button to proceed. After clicking Create, you will be directed to the product page. On this page, you can add various details to your product. To add an image to your product, simply locate the Add Image option and click on it. This will allow you to upload an image from your computer, which will be associated with the product in your inventory. Including images can enhance the visual representation of your products and provide a better experience for customers or internal reference. In addition to the image, you can enter the SKU stock keeping unit for your product. To do this, click on the field next to the SKU label and enter the appropriate SKU for the product. This unique identifier helps in tracking and managing inventory effectively. To provide further details about your product, click on the plus add description button this will enable you to add a description that accurately describes the product's features, specifications, or any other relevant information. Additionally, you have the option to choose the category in which the product will be listed. By default, the products are placed in the miscellaneous category, but you can modify this by clicking on the four dashes beneath the SKU field. This allows you to assign the product to a specific category that aligns with your inventory organization. If applicable, you can set up a barcode for the product. To do this, click on the field next to the barcode option and enter the barcode or scan it using a barcode scanner. This feature helps streamline inventory management and tracking processes. Furthermore, you can add measurements for the product by clicking on the Add Measurements option. This allows you to specify dimensions, weight, or any other relevant measurements associated with the product. In the Pricing and Cost section, you can set up the price and cost details for the product. Enter the retail prices and wholesale prices to accurately reflect the pricing structure for the product. If you work with specific vendors for the product, you can add them under the Product Vendors section. Click on this section and then select the Add Vendor option to input the necessary vendor details. Once you have filled in all the required fields and provided the desired information for your product, you can save a copy of the product. Click on the Copy option to create a saved copy of the product. After saving the copy, you can then save the product to your inventory by clicking on the Save button located at the top right side of the product page. This ensures that the product is successfully added to your inventory and can be managed effectively. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Inflow Inventory. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this tutorial helpful in understanding the key features and functionalities of Inflow and how it can benefit your business. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.